my drum philosophy has always been to make it sound like a drum kit. And I'm kind of in an ORTF. You could go XY, but I find that the, the image gets a little bit too narrow for my personal liking. Turn back on the overheads. So one of the important things is to make sure that we get the phase relationship a bit to the overheads as well. Usually two to three fingers up. I cranked up the snare there. I think that's gonna be too much, so I'm gonna go back. If you switch over to the humbucker, Bye bye noise. Put your flashlight right up against the screen and see exactly where the cone is. You know, I've got this one pointing to the low side, this one pointing to the high side, and I could get that close to the strings if I wanted to, you know? I'm actually use, utilizing the wall itself to help bring that sound up. Bass is one of those sounds that eats up all space and time and travels through walls like crazy. Distance between the speaker and the microphone would slightly askew the bass phase, but not 180 degrees. You know, just flat, um, going through a little bit of compression. And I won't usually put it this tight to the mic unless I'm going for that sound, because again, this kind of helps keep the singer <laughs> back away from the microphone a little bit, right?